Good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. Good evening. All right. Um, is there anybody who is new to the class? I am. Okay, so we have Tony, Shea, Thomas. All right, so we have one new person. All right, um, so we have to, we're going to ask Tony Shea Thomas to introduce herself. Um, I just said your name, but just for the record, please state your name. Tell us the course, um, the program that you're doing with us. Tell us what the course is about. And if you want to disclose, this is optional. Tell us the kind of work you're doing. Um, and something that we don't know about you that, you know, that we should know. All right, go ahead, Ms. Thomas. Okay, so good evening, guys. My name is Tony Shea Thomas, and the program I'm doing is the Associate Degree in Criminal Justice. Um, this is mainly because, well, this is something that you guys don't know about me. I absolutely love um, crime fiction, crime documentaries, and I just find it entirely fascinating, basically. Yeah, I think that's about it. Is there anything else I'm missing? And what do you think the course is about? Um, as in communication or in general, the entire thing? The entire course. Um, I think it's about basically um, solving crime or like finding the right. No, I don't mean criminal to... justice. I mean this course. Oh, communication. Right. I think this is about um, basically the flow of like messages, you know, communicating information or disseminating information and so on. Important information, of course. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Anybody else is new? Okay. No. Um, for the first. You are new, Georgia Hines. All right, so do the same thing for me, Georgia. Hearing me? Yes, we are hearing you. Okay, so I'm doing an associate degree in social work. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Um, we need to know a little bit more about you, Georgia. Um. So I'm shy, I guess. So I have nothing else to say. No, 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 that's not how it's going to work in my class. In the wrong class, you have to talk. This is a class where you have to actually interact. That's how you learn. So shy is not an excuse. This is your moment to break out of your shyness. Okay, sir. What do you think the course is about? Um, you mean the coming like this? Yeah, communication. Um, to communicate with person, know how to communicate with person on a whole. Okay. Um, why did you choose social work? Sir, because, because, um, I was told that social work do, you can work in the hospital. I care, I care about old people and children, and I like to counsel people and a whole. So that's why I choose social work. Okay, do you work in the area? No, sir. Okay. All right, so I'm going to share the, can somebody say hi in the WhatsApp group for me so that they can join the WhatsApp group? Uh, let me share my name so you can find me on YouTube. I'm gonna share my email address, I should say. You're going to subscribe to the link. You're going to find me on YouTube and subscribe to the link. And I'm going to now share the 
WhatsApp link so that you can join the group. So if you click on the link it will, and just follow the instructions, whether you're on a phone or you are on your desktop, if you're on your desktop, you can do what is called WhatsApp web and join the group. So my name is Robin Clark and I have been teaching this course um, and courses of this nature, which is really academic writing since 2011 probably before that, let's say 20, 2004, let's say from that time until now, I've been teaching the course, teaching courses of this nature, academic writing, academic literacy. And I have been at Excelsior since 2011. I'm the Dean of Marketing and Communications. So most of the correspondence you'll get will come from my office. Sometimes I will be the person sending them. Sometimes they are sent by the staff I supervise. In the WhatsApp group, outside of the regular class interaction and notes and all of that, I will share things relating to the college. Um, well, a friend of mine actually owns a security company and he needs some part-time salespeople. So when he sends me that particular correspondence, I will share it in the group because I'm, I know most of you are adults and some persons might be unemployed and you might be looking something to, to do. So I'll do that from time to time. For the persons who are new, you are, um, when you join the WhatsApp group, it is based solely for the purposes of the course or the purposes of the college. You can talk about college related matters, you know, even about another course. We did establish that we don't want any good mornings or motivational speeches or inspirational quotes, those things are not permitted in the court, in the, in the WhatsApp group. Um, we went through an entire discussion about netiquette. Um, and let me just say this for everybody that officially the teaching starts today. This is really our, our first class. Some persons are way ahead in terms of what we have been doing over time and that information will become will be revisited once i first of all i need to make a determination after this week how many new persons are joining the course so that we can bring them up to speed instead of trying to go back of showing all these various videos and all of that um for georgia and the other person who is new did you subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can see the rec that's how you're going to access the recordings so you have to find me on youtube and subscribe and in the whatsapp group as i said before there are times when i share information relating to the course let me just see if i can find an example for you so that you can actually see. I don't want it to play all. I want to see the library. Mm -hmm. Lectures. I'm just going to share an example. You guys are social work, so. So I've shared one of the YouTube links. So please subscribe. Oh yes, and both of you have now joined the group, so that's good.
All right. Um, I think I'd gone through a whole range of things. Um, once you subscribe, you will get access to the previous lectures, some of the discussions I've been having with the students who are here from day one. So today we are going to discuss a little bit about the communication process, trying to um, communication process. Trying to find a very simple. Sorry. All right, so all right, can anybody tell me what is communication? And for the persons who have been here before, uh, I know that you're supposed to do what what's the what what is that you're supposed to do for me today? So for the information and the um the north topic that the topic that we chose and we're supposed to come with the north um the thesis statement for the north topics. Didn't we pass that? No, sir. We just you gave us our each other topics and we're supposed to come with our thesis, like the points towards our thesis statement. There's a difference. It's, no, no. Yeah, you you're saying two different things. You're saying the points towards your thesis statement and your thesis statement. That the two things are not the same. So it's either you're coming with your points for the thesis statement or you're coming for you're coming with your thesis statement. The two things are not the same. So which is it? We're supposed to come with our thesis statement. Is that so, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, so we, sir. Didn't, we didn't pass the thesis part. We didn't. We were still at the. We didn't either. pass the thesis. Well, you guys are way behind the other class. The other class has, is way ahead. That's a concern. Sir Clark, good evening, sir. Yes. Mr. Davis, sir. Um, last week I was in class, and when the topic was running, unfortunately, I have a situation where my light went out, my wife and everything, and I didn't get a chance to pick a topic or anything. I'm not working with nobody either. I don't get anybody to work with or anything. All right, we'll get to that. All right, just remind me as we progress, okay? Sir, no good evening. Sir. Yes. Eunice here, sir. Sir, if you're saying that if we pass the thesis statement, it simply means that you have taught us how to go about um, finding our, our creating our thesis statement. You did that last week. Because right. you have taught us how to do it and also gave us an assignment. Right. I, I'm almost sure we passed that lake. So I, I'm surprised that persons are saying thesis statement. But anyhow, we are going to start on a new leg. All right. Let's go back to because uh, we have to treat this as the first class. Uh, where am I? This is come on. So I'm not seeing the course outline. Where's the course online? I usually have it here. Mm -hmm. So where's the course outline? It's... Oh, Lord. Come on. Oh, here it is. All right, so let me just briefly go back through the course outline for the persons who are new. Um, let me share a screen and just briefly go through the course outline. Um, it won't be taught exactly as it is shown here. So for unit one, we'll be looking at communication and the communication process and bias to communication and all those wonderful things. Um, then language in context, which I'm not teaching. I'm not teaching you this unit. This is, this is an inappropriate unit for this course. This is really for persons who are doing um, learning to teach English language. So you don't need to learn this and I'm not teaching it. Um, this part I will teach unit three about oral presentation, but what will happen with that? You're going to do it in the form of a TED talk for me. That's what is going to happen. So when we bring the new persons up to speed, they will, um, they will be also, you are working in peers, right? 
Yes, sir. Right. So they will be paired as well. And yes, sir. what is going to happen is that you're going to convert what you're slowly doing, you're, what you're going to eventually build out is what is called a sentence outline. And the sentence outline will be converted into a, a TED Talk. And I'm going to teach you how to do a TED Talk. You're going to actually create the production of the TED Talk. And that will be graded. And um, this is the core of the course. So when I was teaching, I'm sure you're seeing APA people. So we started some of this. This is really what the course is about. The front part of the course is absolute madness. This is really what the course is about to teach you construct a thesis statement, how to use connectives. And I was slowly doing some of this um, prior to now. All right, so we'll get back to it eventually. Um, and I'm sure if I went too fast for the persons who are new, understand the course outline. So we're going to start today with communication and I'm going to link it to, within the context of academic writing. After that, no, we are going to go into speaking about academic writing and the writing process and all of that. And I'll eventually bring you up to speed. We're not going to do this module unit two, not teaching module two. And some of my colleagues actually have agreed, we have agreed that this, this is inappropriate for the course. All right, really inappropriate for the course. Um, I almost sure that your mid semester probably will be at the TED talk itself. I'll probably just let you do the TED talk for the mid semester. And then you just do a production and that's the mid semester. This is really a writing course. This is not a course where you're going to be tested given multiple choice, true and false, and A, B, R, C. That's not what this course is about. Although I could, based on discourse analysis, I could be for discourse analysis. Anyhow, all right. So we're going to start with unit one and we're going to fit it into all the discussions that we have been having. So the persons who have your broad topic, your narrow topic and all of that, we will get there eventually. All right. Today is officially the first class. I, I, we didn't tell you this, but before we were just, you know, your, we made a decision to really start teaching on the 25th. And what I did, I used the time to kind of introduce it to the harder part of the course. So we're going to play catch up eventually. So all the information that you have, you're going to hold on to. So now we want to talk a little bit about what is communication, because the course is titled Communication 1. And even though I don't want to, to, to teach this part because it's actually relevant to the course, I must. All right, I must. So can anybody tell me what is communication? Sure. Communic uh, Right. So communication is sending or receiving information such as phone lines or computers. All right, so we only communicate via phone line and all of that? No, sir, by, by like letter and stuff like that. I'm not sure who writes letters anymore. Excuse me, sir. Also um, orally. So verbally. Exchanging information using different mediums. Using different Answer right, letter, medium. everything. Right. Okay. All right. So let's just listen to a recording um, on the communication process model. All right. Let's listen. Every day we communicate. Communication happens through conversations, posters, or glances across a room. In fact, most communication occurs without much effort on our parts or even opening our mouths. In module one, we will take a look at the big picture of communication and examine its basic elements. Communication starts with an idea. To be able to communicate, we must have an idea, a notion, something we want to express, information to share, etc. Past experience. Um, can you mute your mics, please? A notion, something we want to express, information to share, etc. Our past experiences, values, attitudes, knowledge, culture, feelings, all influence our ideas and the way that we interpret the ideas of others. These influences are our unique perceptions or the way we view things around us. Before ideas can be transmitted, 
to another person or group, we must encode these ideas. Think back to your history classes or football. What does a group at war or a team do when they don't want the other side or team to understand? They place that information or team play into code. In other words, they encode the idea. Now that the idea is encoded, it's ready to be transmitted or sent to another person or group. The encoded idea is called the message. The message is sent to a receiver. This is just like in a football game. The receiver is to catch the football. A telephone has a receiver in which you are able to hear the person on the other end of the line. The receiver must then interpret the message by filtering the new information through their past experiences, culture, attitudes, values, knowledge, and feelings. This interpretation is called decoding the message. The sender needs to make sure that the receiver understood the message. Therefore, it is the receiver's job to convey a message back. The receiver's reply to the sender is called feedback. The feedback allows the sender to ensure that the original message was interpreted correctly by the receiver. Once the cycle has gone full circle, it will repeat itself for as long as the conversation continues. We could even say that the sender and receiver change roles throughout the process depending on who is sending the message and who is responding to feedback. Now that we understand the general idea about how the cycle works, let's look at a few other pieces of the communication process. The messages that are transmitted between senders and receivers are sent through channels. The channel essentially determines how the message will be sent. For example, if I wanted to tell someone hello, I could wave say hello or text hi to someone with my cell phone. The messages will be the same, however the manner in which I chose to send it varies. Think about the decisions that you have to make if you want to give someone a present. Will you give it to them yourself, mail it through the post office, or ask a friend to deliver it for you? Messages can be sent through many channels. For example, speaking face-to-face, -face, instant messaging, writing letters, making facial expressions, or even watching television. Another important piece of the communication process is the context in which a communication takes place. The context includes everything from the emotions of the communicators, the reasons for the communication taking place, and where the actual communication takes place. So far we have looked at the communication process and how it works in ideal situations. However, sometimes the process is interrupted. Something that interrupts, distorts, blocks, or interferes with the process is referred to as a communication barrier. Loud noises, bad phone connections, language, attitude about the topic or speaker, the temperature, and a broken hearing aid are all examples of the communication barriers. All right, so talk to me in terms of what are some of the concepts or terminologies you have been introduced to. Sir, how, good evening, Eunice here. How the message is transferred, sir, by um, um, encoding and decoding, sir? Yes, so the message is transferred via encoding. And for persons, for the conversation to flow, sir, the person will have to give feedback to feed that maybe to see that um, the other party understand what was said, they decoded it or encoded it. So Just remember that a message can be sent um, um, non-verbally as well. Yes, sir. Anything else? Anybody else? I'm listening, yes, guys. Sir, we've, learned, we've learned that the medium through which the message, the encoded message travel, travels is called a channel right. to the receiver where it is decoded so the receiver understands the message. Then the, the receiver can deliver or respond to that message, which is called a feedback. 
There may be interruptions in the feedback or the message being sent. Mm-hmm. And this interruption is called a communication barrier. Barrier? Yes, sir. Yes. All right, and I kind of put some notes in the in the um in the WhatsApp group as well. All right, so we are introduced to terms like sender receiver, encoding, decoding, response, and so forth. All right, and so these are some of the terminologies that we're introduced to. What I am going to play an example, and I want for you to identify the sender. So write this for me. I want you to identify. Let me put this in the chat. I want you to identify the sender, the receiver. the message slash main point, the sender, the receiver, the message, the channel. All right. Simply sign up for free and can... The United States lost over 3 million manufacturing jobs. Nearly- what, are, what are you trying to identify? Just remind me. Sender, receiver, the message, message the main point. And the channel. And the channel. Okay. Sorry, the All video right. is a bit low, sir. In spite of it being low, you can answer the questions, but I've shared the link in the chat if it is that you want to listen to it on your own. The United States lost over 3 million manufacturing jobs, nearly a quarter of all steel jobs, and 60,000 factories after China joined the WTO. And we have racked up $13 $13 trillion in trade deficits over the last two decades. But those days are over. We will no longer tolerate such abuse. We will not allow our workers to be victimized, our companies to be cheated, and our wealth to be plundered and transferred. America will never apologize for protecting its citizens. The United States has just announced tariffs on another $200 billion in Chinese-made goods, to a total so far of $250 billion. I have great respect and affection for my friend, President Xi, but I have made clear our trade imbalance is just not acceptable. China's market distortions and the way they deal cannot be tolerated. As my administration has demonstrated, America will always act in our national interest. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos. All right. Uh, Let me give you about five minutes or so to just answer that question. All right. Answer those questions, rather. And the link is in the chat.
All right, uh, let's start with Kurt. Go ahead for me, Kurt. Okay, sir. So the sender is President Trump for the United States of America. The former, former President Trump. The former President, thank you. Yes. Um, the receiver is the President of China, President Xi. Um, the message or the main point would be the amount of... Is, is it would be or is? Is. Mm -hmm. the, the, no, it has the to be was. It has to be was because it happened already. Was, sorry, my bad. Was. Okay. You're correct. Okay, so um, it's the amount of trade deficit, deficits over the decades that has been racking up between the United States and China because of the trade. Mm -hmm. And the channel is the media through the form of a press conference. All right, so is it, can anybody, is the channel a press conference? Does anybody know where the president was speaking, the former president was speaking? The UN, sir. It was? The UN, the UN General Assembly, I think. Yes, yeah, so it's the United Nations General Assembly. Um, is it that the receiver was China? Sir, he was he talking to the world at large. So he was I mean, talking to... I mean, uh, his was General Assembly, America. I think. All so parties present. All the parties, General Assembly. All parties at present. The, present at the meet, press conference. Right. And we would not give him wrong, you know, if he says China, because he was really talking to China for real. But at the General Assembly, you're talking to everybody. All right. Who are the two new persons again? Can you just raise your hands and keep them raised for me? Because I'm going to find creative ways to bring it up to speed. So just raise your hands. Do they know how to read? Tony, Tony Shea, can you raise your hand? Do you know how to raise your hand? All right, so George, Georgia Hines has. All right. So I'm seeing one. Tony Shea Thomas, are you there? I'm not sure she's there. All right, so let me find, I'm going to find something. This is where my years of teaching experience comes into play. All right, so, all right, so I, nobody else should talk. This is for Georgia. I don't know where Tony she is. So Georgia, I want for you, remember part of the definition of the, the communication of one of the concepts. Oh yes, one of the concepts that was not included and we're going to, I'm going to, if you look, if you look in the WhatsApp, I've shared a document with you that details the communication process um, is the whole idea of having an idea or having a concept, it's called conceptualization. You have an idea and you want to um, share it with somebody. So I want for you to, I'm gonna share a screen and I want for you to look at this document. I'm speaking to Georgia and Tony Shea, no one else, because all everybody else is not new. I want for you to tell me, look at this particular document and tell me which idea. You're gonna choose either one, one of these, what are called topics, one either this, 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 and one underneath it. So if you choose this one, you have to choose one from here. If you choose this one, you have to choose one from here. If you choose this one, you have to choose one from here and so forth. All right, let me share that with you as well. It should be able to go into the chat. Yes. Why is it not pacing? Do I need to stop share for it to pace? Let's see. Georgia, you're understanding? Yes, sir. Okay, good. All right, let me share it in the WhatsApp first. I'm not sure why it's not sharing here. All right, it shares in the WhatsApp, so I'm not sure why it's not sharing here. You're in the WhatsApp as well, right? Yes, sir. All right, so. Let me try again to share it in the, just look in the WhatsApp and tell me which one you would choose. And I'm going, I'm going to give you time. So there is no rush. There is absolutely no rush. 
Oh, so Tony Shea is on her way home. All right, Tony Shea, when you get home, we will have dialogue. But still keep your hand raised. Let me see if I can paste. I'm trying to paste, but it's not pasting. Let's try this again and see what happens. Why is it not sharing? I just think sometimes. All right, Georgia, have you chosen anyone or you're still looking, you're still going through? And I, in the meantime, I want for you to, um, so I want everybody, while Georgia is making up her mind, can you look up the term conceptualization for me? Let me just write it in the chat. Conceptualize, I think they spell it with a, with a Z. And tell me what it means, or you can copy and paste the definition in the chat. Conceptualization. Yeah, so I make up my mind now. Okay, so let me share back my screen because I want to see what you have selected. No, that's not what I want. All right, so which one are you doing? Which one did you choose? So I chose issue in religion. Mm -hmm. Problem faced by LGBT member in X community. So it's not issues in religion that then. Sir, isn't it fall under? So faith? if it's on, no man, LGBT comes under gender and sexuality. Yes, sir, that one. Okay. All right. So I want you to write it down for me. You're going to write it down for me. So that is the idea that you want to share. You know, we don't reach the encoding part yet. That's the idea that you want to share, right? Okay. All right. Have you written it down? Yes, sir. All right. Good, good, good. All right. So I just ensure that you remember it. All right. I soon get back to it. Um, we also must, I must walk you a little bit, not every single part of it but let's just go through briefly the document that I shared in WhatsApp then I'll bring the other two young ladies up to speed all right so are you seeing this document in the WhatsApp yes sir I'm seeing this document Okay, good. All right, so I'm not going to read everything that is there because some of this you're going to sit and digest on your own, all right? Some of it you're going to digest on your own. So it really defines what communication is and it gives you some examples of how um, ways of how people communicate and it speaks to the objectives of communication in terms of to be heard, to be understood, to gain attention and so forth. Then it gets into the process of communication, which is partly what we looked at earlier. One of the things that I want you to remember is that the medium carries the message and the channel carries the medium. If you have to write that down, it's very important that you do. All right, that the medium carries the message and the channel carries the medium. And Natoya is defining conceptualization as well as Kurt for us. Conceptualization, the action or the process of forming a concept of, or idea of something. All right. And what Georgia did for us earlier was to engage in the process of conceptualization, you know, the action or the process of forming a concept or idea of some or some of something so she wants to convey a particular idea under the broad topic of gender and sexuality what did i say about medium and channel now just remind me what did i say about medium and channel sorry sir um the medium 
carry message. The medium carries, please pronounce your words correctly. The medium carries the message and the channel <laughs> carries the medium. Yes, sir. This will come back on mid semester. So this is the communication model and we went through it already. So I don't want to get into all of that. We're going to discuss some of the, the notion of um, barriers to communication. It shows that communication is a process and it is ongoing. And it's talking about elements of communication, most of which we have already defined. We're going to talk about um, noise in its, um, on its own. And then it talks about the fact that not communication one is a process. It is a system. It is interactional and transactional. In other words, person to person, um, interacting, having a phone conversation and so forth. Um, it can be intentional or unintentional. It can be, and then it describes the process. This is where some of which what we, are, we were talking about. And as I said before, some of these things you can digest on your own. It's not something, you're not going to be necessarily asked these specific questions. Um, in, in this course or on their mid-semester. Communication is irreversible. Just remember that that's very, very important in terms of one of the, the, the characteristics of, of communication is that it is irreversible. So if you say something bad to somebody, um, even if you apologize, you can't reverse what was said. All right, it is continuous. It is unavoidable because we are social beings and even living things communicate, uh, well, even Let's say non-human things communicate. And it talks about um, characteristics of effective communication. It's important to note about the whole notion of clear and concise. Very important if you want somebody to understand. Accuracy is important as well. Today, in light of the death of the controversial past that there was a lot of information being circulated on social media. Some of it was not accurate. All right. Um, relevant to the needs of the receiver, timely, meaningful. Important, the selection of the channel is important that the selection of the medium is important. And as I said before, those things will come on your mid-semester. No, barriers to communication no, is anything that impedes or interferes or hinders the communication process from taking place. All right, so anything that impedes or creates a barrier, well, not, you don't want to use barrier in it, anything that interrupts, impedes, or stops the process, the full process from taking place. True or false, if there is no feedback, communication has taken place. False. 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 Right. So communication has only taken place when there is feedback. And I did say that the feedback does not necessarily have to be verbal. It can just be a nod of the head. Sometimes it's just a stare because the person understands. And I'm sure, well, when you're younger, when you were younger, you and if your your mother um carried you into any public space. There are times when she just needs to give you a look. She doesn't need to say anything, just a look. And you know exactly what that look means. In that situation, communication has taken place without anything being said. The message was encoded, it was sent, it was received and feedback occurred because you either dress up yourself, behaving, start behaving yourself or something. And there are various barriers to communication um, psychological noise, which means that sometimes there are all kinds of things happening in your head that is preventing you from um, preventing you from participating in the process. And as I said, I don't want to get into all of these um, all of these things. These are things that you're going to sit down and digest on your own because this is not the core of the course. This should not even be on the course. So these are things that you these are things that you're going to sit down and digest. All right, any questions? I'm done with communication. Done with unit one already. Any questions? No, sir. All right.
Okay, fair enough. All right, so that's something you, what will um, happen in terms of mid-semester? Um, what I usually do for mid-semester is just to ask you to identify, I give you a case scenario and you're going to identify the medium and the channel and justify why you're using that medium, why you're using that channel, and then somewhat write a speech. Probably I need to give you, and we'll get close, when you get closer to that, we'll do a, a, a somewhat of a practice. But as I said before, this is not the core of the course and I don't want to spend time, you know, talking about communication because you're not studying to become journalists. All right, so I don't know if Tony Shea is home yet, but I must progress. So, so um, I'm here now. Yeah. Okay, all right. So did you did you get a chance to choose because we were in the communication process, the whole notion of of wanting to share an idea and I gave you a list of topics to choose one from that you would want to convey to somebody or to an audience. So I barely got a chance to um, examine the list. All right, so I'm going to give you five minutes to look okay. through the list because it's very important okay, to go through the list, all right? So it's in the WhatsApp group? Yes, it is. Okay. So we're just waiting on our people to choose one. Um, sir, I'd have to go with on the parenting in the 21st century, number five, the importance of fathers in the development of children in the African, aka tribe. Yeah, that one. All right, so you have to choose one of them in terms of are they going to look at it in the African Aka tribe? or in the Car in Caribbean countries or in African-American families. So you have to choose one of them. Okay, so I'll, I'll go with um, the importance of fathers in the development of children in the African-American families. All right, so African-American families. Ensure you write it down. You're going to write at the top, parenting in the 21st century, and you're going to write that, okay? It's very okay, important. So. All right, okay. so... All right, so let's say that I'm going to choose a different one. All right, I'm going to choose a different one. And this is the idea that I want to convey, but I'm not ready to share the idea yet because I still have to refine it in my head. I have to refine it and it's not yet, um, it's not yet refined. All right, so. I think this one is very, very relevant now. The effects of unlawful practices by religious leaders on the reputation of the church in X country. I think it's quite pertinent to the discussions we're having now. So I'm going to take it from here. Let me just find some space on this paper, all right? For the persons who are new, pay attention, okay? Ensure you're paying attention. Issues in religion. All right, so I'm going to, what's the topic? What topic does it come under? Number five comes under in the example that I've selected. Persons who are new, I'm talking to you. Um, issues in religion. All right, issues in religion. So here I'm going to write, let me put a space, broad. So are you sharing your screen or? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, I should be sharing my screen. 
my senior moment, senior moment when you get in, when you reach my age. All right, are you seeing? Yes, sir. All right, so broad topic issues in religion. All right, and the one under issues in religion was this, and it's going to be called my narrowed topic. All right, for the purposes of learning, I'm going to bold it. Is that clear? So you're going to do the same thing with yours. You're going to do the same thing. You don't have to do it now, but you're going to do the same thing with yours. So the one, this, remember now, this is the idea that we want to convey to a receiver, but we're not ready to convey it yet because it still needs refining. It needs a lot of refining before we encode it. All right. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to convert our narrow topic into a question. We're going to convert our narrow topic into a question. I want either Tony Shea or could you keep your hands raised so that I can call you and Tony Shea or what's the name of the other person? I'm not seeing her as if she bumped off. Which, did she fall off? No. All right, so either Georgia or Tony Shea, can you convert my narrow topic into a question? You're converting this exact narrow topic into a question. I'm listening. The others, please follow. Don't say anything. So you said we're converting it into a question, correct? Yes, yes, you're converting exactly okay. that into a question. Um, so I'm not sure if it's correct, but I'd say, um, as a result of unlawful... Tell me as a result. Where did you do you say as a result in my remember all your so I use the exact words? Yes. Then then what did I tell you to convert? I tell you to convert that into a question. So how you get okay. as a result in it. There can't be any as a result. Because you're converting exactly that into a question. So there can't be any as a result. Georgia, anything from you? Tony, she has been trying. I don't have, you have gone silent. Are you there, Georgia? Sir, I'm here. All right. So we can start off by saying what are the effects. All right. So let's start there. What are the effects? Yes. I am listening. What, what else should I write? Sir, of what are the effects mm -hmm. of, sir, everything else of unlawful practices by religious leaders? Mm -hmm. Sir, just say it. Say that again. Sir, of yes. what are the effects of, of this? Unlawful practices by religious leaders. So not writing. No, man, I'm listening. Don't worry about the writing. But you haven't, you haven't finished the question. That's why I'm waiting. Any of the two of you can finish it. I think you stopped at religious leaders. This is why I never needed to write because all I need to do is copy and paste. I think, um, did she fall off? Uh, Tony Shea, you want to finish it? Um, sir, so it would be, what are the effects of unlawful practices by religious leaders 
and the reputation of the church in X country. Thank you. All right, so one thing we need to correct though, when we say X country, we have to give it a name. So we can say either country or we can say region. It can be either the country or it can be the region. All right, either the country or the region. So what the effects of unlawful practices by religious leaders on the reputation of the church in, let's say Jamaica, for now, this is what is happening in Jamaica. So let's say Jamaica. All right. So the next thing we want to do now, we're still refining the idea that we want to convey to the, to, to um, before we send it, before we, before um, we send it to the receiver. We now want to answer that question. How can we answer that question? Antonio Shea, you're on your own on this one because I don't see, I think the other person, I don't know if her service um, or connectivity. Sure, I'm here. Oh, Nothing you're here. Off just a while ago. Okay, okay, okay. So now we want to answer the question. We're just, so the, so what are the effects of unlawful practices by religious leaders on the reputation of the church in Jamaica? Now we want to answer that question. Let me hear what would, how would you phrase the answer? Sure, can we start off by saying the effects of unlawful practices? Can we? So we, let me help you. So there are, let's start it that way. You can finish it for me. There are. Um, there are several. Several, yes. Effects. Effects. Of unlawful practices. Mm -hmm. By religious leaders. Mm -hmm. On the reputation. Reputation. Sorry. On the reputation. Of the churches in Jamaica. You didn't see churches there. Church, sorry, sir. Church. Trust me, you will learn because when I start dropping the zeros, you will learn not to make those errors, okay? Read exactly, okay. read exactly what is there. In my course, you have to be very precise. Now, we want to narrow, we want to even go further, narrowed answer slash thesis. All right, so in order for us to do this part, I want you to listen to me very carefully. In order for us to do this part, we now need, it says several effects, right? We just need two or three effects. No, that's not the intention. We just need two or three effects. So there are several effects of unlawful practices by religious leaders on the reputation of the church in Jamaica. We just need two or three effects. Can you, can any of you tell me any of the, any effects of unlawful practices of religious leaders on the reputation of the church. Remember, no, this is important. On the reputation of the church. Can you think of, you can even Google it if you want. Sir, witchcraft. Um, be quiet, sir. I'm talking to Tony Shea and Georgia. I say that respectfully. Remember, we're bringing them up to speed, all right? It's where we are. So I have to engage them alone so that I know that they understand. Tell me if you understand my question, Tony Shea and Georgia. Do you understand the question I'm asking you? Yes, sir. Yes. Right, so all I'm asking you know, so now we want to be even more granular, more precise. We just want two or three effects of unlawful practices by these leaders on the reputation of the church. Sir, practicing mm -hmm. voodoo, voodoo. 
No, 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 you're not focusing. What you're looking at is the effects of unlawful practices, but that's not what it's asking. It's asking about what? On, it's asking about the, rep on the reputation of the church. Don't lose focus. So it's not the effects of unlawful practices by religious leaders, you know. It is the effects of unlawful practices by these leaders on the reputation of the church. Don't forget that part. Sir, false prophet can be one? That's not a, listen to what the thing is asking you. Several effects of unlawful practices on the reputation. All right, let me put it, let me ask it a different way. What would you say, how are Jamaicans perceived by non-Jamaicans? Give me some examples of how Jamaicans are perceived by non-Jamaicans. What do they say about us? This is for everybody. Every, anybody can answer. Any and We're everybody. Fun. We are fun. What else? Sure, some of well, them say uh, we're aggressive. Some say that we're aggressive. Hardworking. Hardworking. How else are we perceived? Talented. Talented. Criminals. Don't forget the bad part. We're perceived as criminals as well, as scammers. Thieves. Right, crooks. All right, so let me ask you a different question now. What are we known for in the world? What are we known for in the world? Our music. We're known for music, yes. Okay. For 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 We're known. We're known to food. The food, sports. sir. We're known for our food. Our sports, athletes. We're, we're known our, for our, our sports. Culture. For our culture. Our language. Yes. All right, let me ask you this now. So we're known for a lot of good things. How do you think the arrest of, or the arrests of, lottery scammers by North American police. How do you, how do you, how do you um, think the arrests of Jamaican scammers by North American police affect the country? How does it affect? So I think it makes the country, like for example, persons would be fearful of the country because they're going to say that all of the bad persons or the scammers where there's one there's many in the country and so all right on. So i might say choosing other tourist destinations i'm just making something up this is it has nothing to do with i'm just trying to get you to so choosing other tourist destinations give me another one how else can they how else does or can the arrests of jamaican scammers by north american police affect the reputation of jamaica I'm listening, people. Every anybody can answer. Sir, lack of investments to our country. All right. So some investors might not choose to come to Jamaica. Yes, sir. Uh huh. All right. So what I'm asking now, going back now to Tony Shea and Georgia, all I'm asking you for now, you have to focus on this part, on the reputation of the church. So this is a trick part to this one. And many students, if they choose this to write on, they probably would miss it. The trick is that you're talking about on the reputation of the church. All right, can any and everybody answer no? So there are several effects of unlawful practices by religious leaders on the reputation of the church in Jamaica. Can you tell me some of the effects on the reputation of the church? Sir, most people would shy away from that church, from that church. No, no, no. The, the word church here is a collective term, which means all churches. Okay. So it's not talking about any specific church. It means the clergy generally. 
Right, let's first not tell me. Churches. Church, a bad light of the church. But I need to write it in sophisticated language. Declining membership. Citizens of X country becomes doubtful. There's no X there. No, no. It says in Jamaica, so there's no X okay. there. Um, citizens in Jamaica has become doubtful um, in believing in the church or something. Yeah. So increasing doubt among non-Christian, non-Christians. Living in Jamaica. We don't need to put that because we already said in Jamaica. It's going to be called, to be called repetition because they already said in Jamaica. So let us say this is one of the effects. Increasing doubt among non-Christians. Creating backlashes. Creating, I don't know if I want to use the word backlashes. Creating. Sir, I could say controversy. Controversy is a very loaded word. Criticism. Criticism of what? Towards Christianity or towards the religion. All right, so increasing. Increasing criticism. Criticism. Same of the religion. Or let's say of Christianity. And what else? Give me another one. So what about um, lack of trust in um, You need to tell me what to write. Tell me what to write. Lack of trust. How can we put it? So we have, I start with what? Continuous verbs, right? Remember, we said we start with continuous ing. ING. So increasing doubt among nobody talk. Tony Shea, Georgia, give me one. We have given you two. Give me one. So increasing doubt among non Christians. This has to be about. Their practices could be some like so practices. How do I put it there? So increasing doubt among non-Christians about their practices. This is not there. Increasing criticism of Christianity. Increasing criticism of Christianity. And how do I phrase it? Sir, could you have declining membership due to criticism of... Uh, is that Tony Shea or Georgia? The person Sorry. talking, is that Tony Shea or Georgia? Does it sound like it? None. All right. Tony Shea, Georgia, go ahead for me. So increasing doubt among non-Christians about their practices, increasing criticism. All right, hold on. Let me show you something. One of the tricks to, uh, I always say to students, sometimes you can copy your narrow topic and I'm going to show you what you can do. And you go to, where is it? Right. Let's go here. Um, are you seeing my screen? Are you seeing yes. my screen? It's coming right. up. It's coming up. You should be seeing it. Sir, sir it's just a it blank and just a white. Sir, we white just see a line. All right, so let me reassure then. Could be that something is wrong. Which one did I? Probably it's the wrong one. Are you seeing it now? Yes, sir. All right, so we go into Google and we copy and paste our narrow topic, right? Let's see what comes up. Uh, let's take off Jamaica for the purposes of searching on Google. So the narrow topic, remember the narrow topic, the effects of unlawful practices by religious, religious leaders on the reputation of the church, right? So let's see what comes up on Google, because sometimes Google gives us some sense of things to write about. 
let's see what comes up. All right, so study of discrimination in the matter of religious. It's long. Can't go read all of this. This is way too much. One something that is shorter than that. Oh, Lord. This comes up because of my location. Oh, Lord. Let's see. In the Caribbean, let me do something. In the the Caribbean. <laughs> Could it be that it also increases um, the restrictions on religious liberties? No, because that's not reputation. That's not reputation. Why are they giving me these very sophisticated Let's say newspaper article. Let's see if something comes up. Mm. Watching it. Okay. All right. Let's say. So you don't think it would be better if I said how does unlawful practices of pastors affect the church or something like that yeah it could be you're correct let's see what happens in Glino. let's see if we can search and find something in this discussions about abortion oh lord i don't know why men always come into an abortion and they can't get pregnant this is not I thought I was in the Glena. That's what I asked for in Glena. Jamaica Glena. That's what I, this is where I went. All right, say what you said a while ago for me. Let's try to find it. You said, how does the unlawful? How does the unlawful, unlawful practices of mm -hmm. pastors affect the church? I like that. Remember, everybody, we should be reading, right? Yes, sir. So, you sure you don't want to try it um, just right across the board and not just glean up? No, man, the glean is better than most of the others. No, the reason. Um, if I tried otherwise, it might not, because I'm not geographically in Jamaica. That's, that's why I'm deliberately doing that. So if I don't do that, then it's going to bring up my location where I am, and then it's going to. And I'm deliberately searching in the spirit of the class because I want the two persons who are new to understand that 
in order for you to con in the context of this course or in this class in order for you to convey an idea um, from your mind to a receiver it has to be properly refined all right so the racing hypocrites okay i think i come up with one hypocritical thing some hypocritical thing don't you think that persons might see the church as hypocritical yes sir yes yes, yes sir yeah. so how can we oh we can't so increasing doubt among non-christians about their practices increasing criticism on the church of the church of christianity and being perceived Uh, as a hypocritical religion as a hypocritical i don't know if i want to say as a hypocritical religion are some so this is how you phrase it now so the last part no so you are some of i only do copy and paste here we just need to refine it so increasing though, remember we said no, so we are at several effects, right? But we need two or three, right? So this is one effect. We underline this. Where's our increasing Christianity? This is the other effect. Let's remove the, the two off. And being perceived as a hypocritical religion. This is three. Are some of the unlawful practices by, no. Are some of the effects, right? Are some of the effects of unlawful practices by religious leaders on the reputation of the church in Jamaica? Tell me if you if, understand. Um, wouldn't it be, um, sorry, wouldn't it be some of the effects caused by unlawful practices? But you don't have the word caused in your narrow topic, so you can't put in caused. Okay. So, so this is why I'm very deliberate in terms of showing you from, so this is all we are thinking, you know, this is still thought in your mind to send to the receiver. So whatever you say here in the narrow topic, you cannot change the word in throat. So if you say the effects of, you can't then say the impact of, because you use the word effects. If you say, for example, can, you cannot change the word to is because can suggest possibility is this present tense. So this is why I'm very deliberate in terms of being very consistent because you can't confuse the receiver of the message. Understand? Yes, sir. All right. Oh, another one that was good in I, I'm seeing it in the chat. Why are these persons? Right, so um, one of the effects on the repetition is loss of confidence in, in, in the leadership of the church. Yeah, that's another one. That's a good one. All right. I want, I want everybody to try this one for me. Everybody, you're going to try this one for me. Uh, let me give you a different one. I'm going to give you one where you think. Yes, let me give you one that is outside of your scope. Yes, turn you all into medical practitioners. So, in the chat, broad topic, milestone in science, narrowed. Topic. 
All right, everybody, you're going to do up to the thesis for me. I'm giving you 15 minutes. The first two presenters are Tony Shea and Georgia. All right, so, so you're going to do the question, answer and everything. Let me just put back up the example so that they can see it. Oh, normally we copy and paste this in the chat. In the WhatsApp group. So let me do that so that you guys can have it in order to revise. Everybody understands what I gave you for the class activity? No, sir. All you're doing is repeating what we just did. This will be done in group? No, you're doing it individually. Oh. You're going to tell us which one of the topics to use sir or I, I just this? posted i just posted it in the chat what's the broad topic i gave you milestone insights milestone insights. Insights. all right and what's the narrow topic again the impacts of mri guided biopsy on the diagnosis of prostate cancer thank you so very much when you're in the class please pay attention So everybody, I am you're presenting at 7.45. And I'm going to share some other examples in the WhatsApp group for the persons who are new. Let me just bring back up what we were sharing. All right, is it clear Georgia and Shani? Um, it's not Shani, I don't think her name is Shani. Uh, Tony Shea and Georgia, is the instruction clear in terms of the class activity? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. So at 7.15, 7.45, sorry, we are all going to present. But Tony Shea, you're going first and then Georgia second. And you have to share screen. All right, you have to share screen so that we see what you're doing. And you can look in the WhatsApp group for the examples. So I shared this one that I shared. I, I shared this one that we just did together, but I also shared ones that were done at other points in time. Um, Legister, are you new to the class? Yes, I'm new to the class. So I'm not on, I'm not using my device. That's why it's named register but my name is alicia Wupito. you're late but you're almost late you're one and a half hour late for, for mm -hmm. you're new i was at work okay all right so you're going to watch the recording all right yes so i'm not in the group that you are talking about just um click on the chat click on the link the links are in the just go through the, the chat the zoom chat and click on the links you'll get them okay all right okay
I'm not seeing anything in the chat. I'm not sure if Sarah is hearing it, sweetheart, but um, you'd have to send them over since they came in late. I think that part of the chat would have gone already. Um, who wants a number for whom? I don't understand. What's happening in the chat? We should be working on the on the activity. Sorry, okay. the new girl cannot see the links because she came in after. So those messages before would have gone. Oh, so okay. She, she was asking for you to send them over. All right, I'll be sent. Just give me a sec, all right?
Ready to share? Ready, Georgia? Uh, sorry, I think I'm ready. But it's not Georgia, though. Um, Tony Shea, ready? I think so. All right. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that you can share yours. All right, go ahead for me. Let's see what you have. So, you know, I actually wrote it. So I was planning to, like, read it no 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 you have to hello at this level you, we don't write we type at this level we never ever write anything only under exam condition you type at this level all right so if you can quickly type it out um georgia are you ready okay i'll do so ready for us georgia no sir i'm so finished all right, so let me give you guys another five minutes.
All right, we should be ready by now. Should be ready by now. Copy link. Ready for me, Georgia? I've just shared the WhatsApp link in the chat again, and I'm now sharing my email address for you to acc.edu.jm to use. And let me just share the same one of the YouTube links for you to find me for in order for you to get the lectures, you're going to subscribe to my channel. This is for the person who is new. Georgia, are you ready? Um, what's the other person's name? Are you finished typing out? Tony, Tony, sir, I'm ready. Yes, right, go sir. ahead, share a screen for me. Yes, Let's see what you have. Okay. Uh, so are you seeing? It's coming up. All right. So everybody, help me now. So Daddy. Daddy. Our mute mic. Yes. So milestone, broad topic milestone, narrow topic, the impacts of MRI guided biopsy on the diagnosis of prostate cancer. What are the impacts of MRI cancer? There are, there are a number of impacts on the data. Yes, everything is okay. Let's see the thesis now. Reduction of overdiagnosis, reduction in, reduction of, no. I would say reducing overdiagnosis, reducing the number of biopsies and prostate averted all right so something the last part so reducing the number of biopsies and and cancer and prostate cancer averted and not the last one is the one that is um, a little bit off talk to me about the cancer one what are you trying to say there for the cancer so reducing the number of biopsies yes that's okay She's, I'm not sure why. Go back to your Word document. It's right next to, to the new thing that it opened. Tony Shea, it's right next to the new thing. Go back to your cursor where you just opened this, where the X is, and go back to the, the I think it's a Google Docs for us to see your screen. Are you hearing me, Tony Shea? Tony Shea, unmute your mic and talk to me. Because we were looking at the document and now we're not seeing anything. I'm not sure, if she, if, did she fall off? Not sure. Uh, no, she's still there. Tony Shea, what's happened? Georgia, are you ready for us? Yes, sir. All right, share what you have. Let's see what you have. All right, so the thesis is not finished, but let's, okay. All right, so narrow the impact. What are the impacts of the impact? So the answer is, you're supposed to say there are several impacts. The answer is not correct. All right, so you can just correct it. There are several impacts of MRI, whatever, whatever, okay? And then you do the thesis, all right? You can stop sharing before we see all your business. Stop sharing, please. We don't want to invade your privacy. Stop sharing. We are seeing all your privacy. You see that your boyfriend calling you. Stop sharing. Yes. Um, so you're 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 heading in the right direction, George. You're heading in the right direction. Just need a little um tweak. Sir, so what is that, sir? I'm saying you're heading in the right direction. It's okay, just that. Sir. So the answer no, it should be there are several 
there are several impacts. Um, sir, you're breaking up. No, Tony, I think it's on your side in terms of the breaking up. So something probably is wrong with your connectivity. If I was breaking up, more students would have said something by no. I think the connectivity, um, the issue of breaking up is on your side. So both of you understand you're heading in the right direction. When we come back on Wednesday, we will continue. I'm going to show you now how you move from the thesis to developing your topic sentences. All right. And then we proceed accordingly. So I've managed to bring you guys up to speed so far. The person who came one and a half hour late who's new, you have to, you have to, I'm I did share the YouTube link. So you're going to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you're going to find the recordings there, as well as most times I share the link in the chat in the WhatsApp group for you to watch the recording so that you can be brought up to speed. All right, because as I said, this is a course that is very academic in nature and we have to spend a lot of time understanding how to write an academic paper. And this is part of what we started today through the lens of the communication process. All right, any questions, comments, queries, or concerns before I go? Because I, I actually have a class, seven to nine. No, sir. All right, no. All right, so have a good night, everybody. And you know you can reach out to me via the WhatsApp group, all right? Okay, sir. Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, bye, bye everybody. Bye, bye, guys. Bye.